got animals in the solar lanes theoretically but the lucian is going to be switched and Kanna is looking to go toe to toe here with summit on the top side of the map this is really interesting did you watch that one uh ls i don't want to give away spoilers to anyone if you uh if they were perhaps sleeping first roam towards this mid lane paddle star comes down there's the emperor's divide and has to use the barrier that he picked up for himself the ignite was there but first blood does go to top of the end that would be perfect from the side of each rocks if you run straight into mf azir i think you're just gonna lose certainly not gonna want a front-to-back team fight against the azir misfortune as uh, now, Effort seems to have found Gorilla. Root not going to be able to offer too much damage back there, but there's the stand behind me from Gorilla. And now Summit diving in onto three people. Flash out. Goals, dollars <laughs> over to your opponent. As uh, he's going to face check once again. Undertow is going to land, but only onto Effort as he takes up. I was going to say a, a, a rude word there. <laughs> Um, tried to Emperor's Divide Shelly, but it did too late. Gus is going to die. Oh, nice one. It is a three-man dive as uh, also Faker making his way in. The Summit does have Flash available, but there's the Emperor's Divide already. Cuz is being taken down 100% worth. There for Sandbox. They will lose a turret, but the turrets are traded. And now Root is going to be pushing an inner, but Faker just going to take matters into his own hands and will take down this Cloud Drake, which will give T1 a slight advantage if you think uh, Cloud Drake is any sort of objective to take, which is debatable, to be perfectly honest, especially yeah. on this broadcast. Um, especially the Chovy special. He's always able to roll that one, no matter what. As Kana gonna get knocked up here as Summit looks for it, doesn't find the Infernal Chains, as he does get the last hit of that Q, as now Gorilla's gonna make his way down. Summit, with the World Ender, should be able to get this one done, and that's big and fed, and even the Zoe and Ezreal farming pretty well. We got another team fight here, though. Yep, there's the Dreadline that comes out, Unbreakable, looking to try and get Root out of there. Brilliant cast from Kuz, demonstrating his skills on this Gragas. It means that Gorilla has that. No not even sarcastically i think their engagement yeah. was, was quite good to be to be needed to achieve it around the 20 minute mark they wanted to open up this map they still need to take down the bottom of this one down as faker is split pushing on the top side and t1, t1 are going to trade it for the mid lane out of turret and i'd take that if i was t1 as i don't know who may don't not be able to grab this as the barrel underneath the turret not going to be able to do too much as gorilla still hunting the macro advantage here. We're going to take a bunch of your turrets out, do a bunch of damage. Look at Teddy. He's just going to walk in and take it. 12.7 CS per minute is a just dumb number. That is crazy high. As Summit's going to die here towards the bottom side, Faker just <laughs> sweeps him onto just Teddy. Extremely efficient with how they're taking all of these minion waves because it's not even just Teddy. It's Faker who's ahead of the clock. It's kind of... Game, so yeah. harder to hoover up those minions quite as, uh, quite as easily as... Uh, there is the uh, Glacial Fissure, just to try and deter T1 from this particular turret, as the Cloud Drake once again opted in for, but T1 say, well, we'll just take your inhibitor turret this time around. The Sandbox are endlessly punished for their rotations towards dragons. Not entirely sure what their affinity is for that particular one, but it is bad news oh, bears, effort. as <laughs> good night effort is going to be out of proc his stone plate, but uh, he's Aww, definitely going to be you know, The gold difference doesn't tell the whole story, as we've said multiple times. Well, Teddy getting collapsed on here by Summit. He's looking for it, but there's the stopwatch, and the culling is going to be there to try and keep him alive. Teddy now doesn't have any lifesteal in this build, but as the flash comes over, he puts a bullet into the skull of the Aatrox. And now Faker gets the Empress Divide, but good flash from Root. Sorry, Arcane Ship from Root is going to get himself out of the way. There's the Death Charge from Effort, but it's a great ulti from Gorilla. All for naught, as the Nautilus does pick up the dredge line. Oh, trying to farm it up and T1 have the engage they have the ability to rotate and get in their face and now they're just pushing multiple lanes at the same time they're going to take the turret in the bottom side go ahead and take turret here in mid yeah with the baron still available they'll even take the inhibitor why not there's not much of a fight being put up right now by sandbox and uh, to be perfectly honest, I want to give the player of the game to whoever's been making the macro calls here for T1, because to be perfectly honest, they've been immaculate. Just amazing. Capitalizing on every movement is now Summit looking for this one. Sun Turret is put up as Faker now underneath it, but Summit not going to have those Infernal Chains working out as he goes golden. Teleport will come in towards the backside as Summit just going to be taken down by the Phalanx set up here by T1. And Root was thinking that this was going to be time for a fight, but then unable to actually regroup as Bullet Time shreds the health bars of Sandbox. And it's like T1 have a handicap 
against Sandbox right now. Like, they just started the game with more stats. It's ridiculous how far ahead they are at this point in the game as they're looking to take down Nexus turrets. They've got a hot date tonight, and they do not want this game going past 35 minutes. Sandbox now underneath this turret, but there are no more inhibitors remaining. Even Effort happy to step up with barely a health bar, cuz as well, as there's Emperor's Div Divide swiping the floor with this Sandbox roster, and only Dove is remaining. He'll have to watch his Nexus fall down from the Death Chamber as Faker finishes off with a triple kill. Beautiful stuff there from T1. And but, uh, man, this is, this is really, really fun. Yeah, and of course, Aatrox is picked here. We didn't even have to comment on yep. that. Yep, yep, and still up 6 CS, so no harm, no foul. Hunch gonna move on over, but oh my goodness, no. Root is gonna be caught out of his bullet time that was just being used to clear the wave as there's a killer instinct, but not gonna be able to find the kill as Kana boops back Summit. And now, if he finds any abilities, Punch is going to move on in here. Has to dodge this one. Flash now on cooldown. Punch lines it oh. up and finds the Q. Turret, then it becomes very predictable where you're going to run. So Punch was able to get that done. Well, now Punch is going to die, Valdez. Unless he can safeguard his way out. Void Seeker picks the gap in between the sandbox members. Looks like Shelly will be consumed here by T1 as Cuz picks that one up. And now Summit being collapsed upon. Flash in from effort. And he will be able to find the chain CC to lock that one down here fully. Uh, they're going to try to give a lot of that gold over to Kana. Unfortunately, their 80 carry is back. See that uh, Teddy, no worries at all. He's just going to let this one go. This OGN <laughs> Legion move. Has the collective random. has the collective been replaced by the OGN Legion? Is the question? Is Cuz now looking to jump in on the dub? Oh, the dredge line is going to nail the kill, and it's delivered over to Faker. You know, in that case, it wasn't it wasn't like game one where he could have easily flashed. So here's Summit dying again. Well, he's not going to die just yet. Shock Blast, not going to find the target. You can see Cuz held on to his pillar. And uh, Summit now. Uh, look, can alert. Have a look in his inventory. That is denial of the healing further forward in this game. Yeah, the game is kind of falling apart quickly as that was a really nice hook through the minions. But bullet time, a pretty good ability, yep, is going to deny any kind of engage. Yeah, kind of going to take down this top inner turret also as uh, T1 just... Oh my goodness, if Teddy still had his Killer Instinct available, you bet believe that he will be utilizing that one. Is There's Punch going in with uh, his Q, but I don't think this is for any good reason as that's a double kill for Kana. <laughs> Death charge onto Gorilla, but he's able to create enough distance there. And Kaz going to be taking down this uh, Cloud Dragon. Thank you. Yeah. So I may have to do the same here as T1 just look on a different level third that was sometimes on the same level, but not quite towards the end here at the split. And then every, everybody else was below them. And yeah. That, that has been the story here of Spring. It has been a very... Doesn't find him with any of his protobell charges and just throws the uh, bubble in the wrong direction. Is now Summit. He's going to flash, but I have a feeling that he is still doomed. There is so much CC available and uh, Effort's even going to light him up. have in this particular game. As uh, Effort's going to get bound, does have his stone plate already completed, is now Punch. He might just get flashed on, and he does. Dredgeline going to land yet again, and Effort turns around getting caught into uh, catching the sandbox unawares. It's now Faker taken down to about half. Bullet time comes in, Effort in a bit of trouble to try and get here to defend it, but it looks like he's not going to bite off more than he can chew just yet. And it is going to mean that that objective does go over to sandbox pretty handily. Well thought out play from the side of the T1 support. I think he might be able to pick up player of the game for this one. Yeah, I, I was already so thinking that. His mm -hmm. position is known as Dove will have to hit this bubble. I uh, don't even know whether he's going to be able to do it. Yeah, it's down, so he's not even going to be able to get out of there in Canada. Just which is going to give them a little bit of an extra boost as if they needed it with how far they are ahead here. It's a long hole. As you can see, Faker building towards a pretty cool hat as there is a flash depth charge, sorry, dredge line, and a very deadly sin. Much more worthwhile than uh, the Dragon Soul in game number one that our sandbox seems so excited about. Teddy pushing up this lane, and uh, Fake is going to secure that kill onto the Infernal. Is yet another Root's health bars bugged? Because I can't see it. Um, yeah. Oh, thankfully, this bars. Redemption comes in to try and uh, pull some of it back there. As Cubs looking to try and dive under the turret, Dove will collect an entire uh, Q as uh, Punch going to be obliterated. Faker finds the back line. Teddy 1v1ing Dove, just going to move on over. Does have the Ignite ticking, and I believe Teddy will still fall down as now Summit. We're going to try and pull one back. Faker going to die as well. From the top side, Sandbox do have vision on this Baron as there's another dredge line that comes in, but Effort might actually be sacrificed here. And he is going to go down, but now Faker finds his way in, is going to pop the Moonfall, does a lot of damage, and now there's Teddy to come in and clean up. 
as Dove's gonna go down, the flash utilized there, and Teddy's gonna get his revenge, as Root is, uh, well and truly out of position. He's saying, why can't I go the way of the Jinnah 80 carries and head to T1 as well? But the answer is going to be no. The red team that he headed towards was Sandbox, and, uh, in this particular series, that was the wrong choice. They're just gonna go for it. 31 minutes might be the, the game time here for both games, just back to back. T1, yeah. they're able to fully ace the enemy team. It looked kind of wishy-washy and messy to start the fight, but because Faker was able to keep everybody around, they're going to wait for the potential kill there. Not quite going to get it as the Nexus will go down and T1 will pick up the 2-0. Yeah, really.